بن أنس بن مالك رضي الله عنه إن صحيح مسلم he said once we were sitting with the messenger of Allah we were sitting with the messenger of Allah and the messenger of Allah he smiled and the sahaba and he said are you are you not gonna ask me why am I smiling they say Allah and his messenger know best the messenger of Allah said I am so amazed the argument that the servant of Allah will present to his Lord on the day of Yom Al Qiyamah. He said, The Messenger of Allah, and listen to this Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring this person to the stage, to the podium, to the, to the, to the Arasat Al Qiyamah when everyone else is watching. And Allah will say to that person, did I not bless you with such and such? Did I not tame the animals to obey and listen to you? Did I not give you the authority over the land? Did I not give you a wife or a spouse that can comfort you at the time of difficulties? Did I not, did I not, and the servant of Allah will say, you indeed did. So Allah will say to that person, what have you done with the blessings that I gave you? And this person will become so arrogant, you know, so self-conceited. And he will say, Ya Allah, I believed in you as though, you know, Namunna ala Allah. He said, I believed in you. I prayed to you. I fasted. I deprived myself from food and drinking and having relationship with my wife. I did all that for your sake. And I should and I deserve in a nutshell. I deserve better place. And then Allah will say, I have someone who can testify against you. And then they, uh, this person will say, who could that be? And then Allah will bring the earth as a witness. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about this earth. And the earth would come. And he would say, and the earth would say, Yes, oh my Lord, he did this and this and that on me. On the day of such such day, he came to the master for salah and that piece of land that you prayed on will be your witness on the day of Yom Al Qiyamah. And the place that you may do will speak for you, but also every spot that you disobey Allah will also come forward. And will say he disobeyed you on this spot and he says such and such so the man will say or the person will say i don't accept the shahada of the earth i do not accept the shahada of the land so allah will bring the malaika Allah يقول ما يلفظ من قول إلا لديه رقيب عتيد. He would not utter. He would not say a statement. He would not do anything. He would not do an act of evil or act of righteousness except that he has angels of reporting and recording. So the person would say, I don't accept that. I don't agree with that. And then Allah will say, I have another person. And then Allah will bring someone that we cannot deny. Someone that is so dear to us if you are a mu'min. Allah will bring the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And that's why the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam 
He said to Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, Iqra' alayya al-Qur'an. Read the Qur'an to me. And Abdullah said, Alayka, you want me to recite to the Qur'an to you while the Qur'an was revealed to you, O Messenger of Allah. قَالَ إِنِّي أُحِبُّ أَنْ أَسْمَعْهُ مِنْ غَيْرِي I like to hear from someone other than myself. قَالَ فَقَرَأْتِ سُورَةِ النِّسَاءِ Then I start reciting Surah An-Nisa until he reached and what would you say about the day that we bring a witness from every nation we bring you, O Muhammad, to witness against your own people. فَقَالَ حَسْبُكَ حَسْبُكَ He says, stop, stop. يَقُولُ عَبْدُ اللَّهِ بِنُ مَسْعُودِ فَنَّظَرْتُ إِلَى رَسُولِ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ And I looked at the messenger of Allah فَإِذَا عَيْنَاهُ تَذْرِفَانِ And his eyes are shedding tears. They weeping and crying. Why? Because he knew that on the day of Yawm Al-Qiyamah, he will come and testify against the Usah. And subhanallah, you know, I can imagine my enemies testifying against me. I can imagine my own children testifying against me and pushing me towards Jahannam. I can imagine my wife, my brothers, my sisters, my family members, my relatives, my, you know, all of that. But I cannot imagine Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam standing there saying that, that this person is a Asi. Because he is the only person, the only human that we all are willing to give our lives for. He's the only one that we don't think twice. If someone asks you for your life and the life of your children and your family, there's only one person that you can say, he can have it for his sake. And that is the Messenger of Allah. But imagine Messenger of Allah himself coming and saying, yes, he did such and such. He did such and such. And then, you will be thrown. And that's why he cried. That's why he wept. Because he loved this ummah. He cared about them. And that's why he did not want to be in that position perhaps. Then the person would be more arrogant. And he said, Ya Allah, Alam tujirni min al Did you not say that you are protected from oppression? From wrongdoing, he said, Allah said, yes. قَالَ فَإِنِّي لَا أُجِيسُ شَاهِدًا عَلَى نَفْسِ إِلَّا نَفْسِ He said, I would not allow anyone to testify against me except myself. This person thinks that Allah is not capable of everything. And then he can do whatever he do, reject the earth, reject the angels, reject the messenger of Allah. And then say at the end of the day, you know, I did not do it. Allah will say, Atarda, are you, do you accept yourself as a witness who will testify against yourself? He said, yes. And then Allah will seal the lips of that person. And then the hands will testify. As Allah stated in the Quran. And if he would testify, and the Julud and the skin would speak. And they would say to their skin, Why did you testify against us? Why? And they would speak against them. And subhanAllah, your hand would testify against you. And say, yes, that person is stole something through me. Your feet would testify against us. Your lips, your eyes, your skin, every part of you will speak against you. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say to, that, to the angels to unzip his lips. 
and the person would look at himself his hands and his feet and he would say suhqan lakunna inni an kunna kuntu unadhil he say woe well, to you i was only defending you i was only defending you of my hand i was only defending you of my feet my eyes my lips my tongue my skin and they say no but allah made us speak against you this is the day that you should worry about before you say i want to do this before you lie before you cheat before you walk before you end do anything this is the day 